today I wanted to set up my Subin collection. So I collect Heenin Kai from TXT, his my number one ult. But TXT are my ult boy group, so I collect a lot of OT5 sets for them. And while I went to see them at Lollapalooza, I'd always been kind of like questioning who my bias wrecker officially would be because it's always been Heenin Kai as my number one bias but my bias record changes a lot so i never really chose like anyone specific i just collect random ot5 sets plus tuning kai fully so yeah when i went on tour i realized very quickly that subin was definitely officially my second bias um i love all of txt though but as i made that discovery i've just i've always had like a couple extra subin cards just sitting around from pulling from albums and stuff so I decided to make a little side binder collection for him. Now this isn't going to have every single card he ever has. Like this doesn't even have all of his album cards because currently I've decided I'm not going to collect his like bigger photo cards besides the lenticulars which I have displayed with Huninkai's in a different binder. But yeah so I have like one or two photo cards from each era most of them um, that are Subin. And then I decided to just collect all the rest of them. Um, I don't have a fully completed collection. I'm missing, I think, like three cards to finish the photo cards that I'm looking for. But I have quite a bit done because I already had some cards. And then also I had some cards gifted to me. I traded and bought some. So yeah, this is, we're going to be setting that up. So for this binder, it's actually a TXT... Um, planner binder. It's an A6 binder, so it's kind of small. Um, I have bought this to use this as a binder. It was from Fighter Escape era, and I use this for a planner, but I had always wanted to use it for some type of TXT collection because I just thought, because it's TXT themed, like, it would be nice to actually use it as, it would be nice to actually use it for my collection. Um, but since I only collect Union Kai, and obviously this is way too small for him, I never really had anything to use it for, but once I thought about collecting Subin more, I initially was planning on keeping him in one of these binders, so kind of like this, a two pockets style binder, um, uh, where currently this is where I have like my extra boy groups and um, I have an extra girl groups one too. So I was going to use one of these ones, but then I thought about this planner because I had it kind of just somewhere in a drawer. And I thought about some binder pages I have, so I made these two pocket ones to use in this binder, and they fit fairly well. So I this was a little bit of a DIY, so I was focusing on what these type of inserts look like. I'll just, this is from the two pocket I just showed you guys earlier from Beyond D, and this is the two pocket that I made for myself. So these fit like traditional Monster X like Pokemon card size sleeves so I did have some Pokemon sleeves that I have for my Pokemon cards so I just use those to sleeve my Subin collection here and um, I cut these up personally so these are four pocket pages I'll show you the ones that I used for cutting up the cards just so you guys can see kind of what I picked but I didn't buy these to cut them up I already had them so grab these real quick but I got them from Amazon a long time ago to hold some cards but I'll just show you so you can see I use these one pockets and I cut them um, with a little bit extra off the bottom and I cut this like the ring part for the binder off and then I so I cut that cut this and then made the six hole punch and that's how I made them so they're handmade, they're not perfect, but I actually really do like how they look. Like, I don't think they look too DIY for my taste, because DIY is cool, but sometimes I just think it looks a little bit messy, but I felt like it, it, it doesn't look too bad in my opinion. I, I like how it's been displaying, so this is how I'm going to do it. Um, I did decide to add one of these little adhesive pockets, and I put this Polaroid I just printed with my Polaroid printer, and then I also had this chaotic wonderland pre-order benefit like little 
keychain. So we're gonna use that. I'm gonna take it off for a minute so it doesn't jangle throughout like me putting stuff in the binder. But yeah, now that we've done that, I cut not that many sleeves because I don't have <laughs> that many cards to fill up really. And I'm going to be double siding these because it's also a double sided four pocket. So it works that way. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I made eight sleeves. Obviously I could make more. I just don't need any currently right now. And I don't really plan on expanding my souvenir collection a lot. So yeah, here we go. Also, I have these binder covers that are blue. I had made these for a two pocket binder. Um, and so there's an extra hole here, which I'll probably end up reprinting this paper and recutting it so there's not an extra hole here. But I'm okay with it for now, like I'm not too bothered by it. So I'll just fix that on my own time. But since I already had this paper, I'm just not gonna really care about it too much. But yeah, I'm just gonna put them in like so. I'm probably gonna have to readjust some of these because I'm picky about centering stuff. But yeah, the reason I even wanted to expand my Subin collection is because I've always held on to my extra Subin cards. And I love Subin, obviously, like all the members. But I don't like picking up too many members of groups sometimes. Like, my desire to collect OT5 TXT is pretty high. But the actual will to do it is pretty low because um, it's just like a lot of commitment. And it's really random what cards for TXT can be kind of expensive or hard to get. So I try to avoid collecting more than is necessary for my collection. I just like to collect like my personal ult, which is Hunikai. But since album cards aren't too crazy to get for most people, I don't mind it too much. Um, and I've been enjoying it actually. So I have this Fighter Escape one. These ones I actually had from before I even decided to collect most of Subin's other album cards. Um, I'm still missing his U card from Freeze, which is like the trench coat one. It's really cute. And then here I have his other Kadok Wonderland photo card, so I guess we'll put that there. And then here we have his jewel case from Chaotic Wonderland that I didn't have. So some of the cards you might be like, where's his escape version? I actually do have his escape version, together version card, so the Harley Quinn one. But for TXT, I collect select OT5 sets, so like one to two sets per era, and that was one of the sets. So if it's part of an OT5 set, I'm just leaving the OT5 set card in there, and I'm just putting whatever, like I'm not going to try to get a second card or anything, I'm just going to keep um, the cards that I want. So, not super complicated. Anyways, these last two I got from a friend who ran group orders. This I started deciding to collect the rest of Subin's cards um, around the end of Thursday's Child Era, like when my friend has just finished their group orders, so they had extra cards. So I did decide to pick Subin's up, which I'm happy about. Um, here are some of his non-album cards. I don't really collect non-album for Subin, but I have kind of just found some cards for him occasionally. Like I pulled this Subin from one of my Target albums and then this one was gifted to me from my sister for my birthday. She's really nice. Um, she actually gifted me a couple of these Subin cards. So love her for that because I <laughs> really appreciate it. She gifted me this one too. It's really, really cute. It's kind of like a hollow card. This was their Weaver's pre-order benefit. So that's there. And then here I have his UMS, UMJ photo card. I can't remember which store it is, but it's one of those. Um, I just got OT5 for this, so it kind of was like a non-issue to collect that because I just had them. Um, and I gave my sister Bomgyu and Taehyun because she collects them. So here I just recently bought this jewel case and I pulled Subin and Yunjun. And this is such a cute card, I couldn't get rid of it. So I'm keeping it here. And the sad story I have with this filler is I was supposed to get OT5 for the Weavers Japan photo cards, but unfortunately there was some mishaps and yeah, basically I only got Hyunin Kai, which I did want to collect <laughs> the other members. Like I was planning on actually giving my Bomgyu and Taehyun to my older sister who collects them. 
um, which really sucks because I feel really bad. I wish the person who was supposed to give me OT5 because I joined their go for it, I kind of wish they would have just been honest with me and said that they weren't going to get it for me, even though I did pay for it, but like whatever. Um, because now I feel bad because it's not just me who's kind of like out and doesn't have the cards, but my sister doesn't have them now and they're really overpriced and kind of hard to find now. I mean, it's not crazy overpriced, but they're harder to find than they were like a few months ago, which if this person would have just been, you know, better communication with me, I feel like I could have just bought it myself then and, you know, dealt with the loss of not getting it even though I paid for it. So yeah, now I just have the loss plus it's really hard to find. So if anyone has those cards, and they're not selling them for crazy amounts of money, especially Subins, really just Subins, but you know, I'd be interested in some of the other cards too, just because my sister is looking for them and I feel bad, <laughs> but, um, it's not an, the, let's not talk about negative things though, because I am so happy that I finally have this collection in like a cute little book. Like I'm actually obsessed with it. Um, but yeah, if you have any of the three cards that I'm missing, which is the VR ID card for Subin, his U version photo card for Freeze, and that pre-order benefit, like I would be very interested in grabbing. Also, I'm gonna, I made one extra sleeve more than I needed. Sorry, there's this little speck of dust. So I'm just gonna put that in the back, and then I'm gonna do a little flip through. So first, I'll show you guys what it's kind of looking like on the cover um oh okay you guys can see well but anyways i got this i just took a selfie off of their twitter and printed it with my polaroid printer and like i said i just cut out this extra paper that was already a filler for something else so though that's my little cover thing and then i'm gonna position this like this i'm gonna double check to make sure it's like centered so you can see it okay there we go <laughs> So I decided, like I said, to skip some of the bigger photo cards. I may change my mind on that and decide to collect them and store them some way in this because they would fit. I think I could find some way to creatively do it that I wouldn't hate, but I'm currently not obsessed with those photo cards where I'm like desperate to get them, um, where these ones I did actually really want. So the bigger cards can wait as far as I am concerned. Like I might never collect them or I might decide to pick them up in a little bit. I don't know. But yeah. Right here we have their ID cards, which I love, like I know a lot of people aren't a huge fan of ID cards, but I actually do think they're really cute. Um, and I love when they have like their birth dates or something like that, it's really cute. Here me and this card are finally reunited. This was the card I pulled in my AR version photo book, but I did decide to trade it like a long time ago before I was as invested in TXT as I am now, so I'm glad I was able to get this back. And then this card, I just really love. This was gifted to me as well from my sister. And then this one I had from joining a go a long time ago. Like it was just one of the album pulls I got. Um, and I'm really excited to eventually get this one because this is one of my favorite Subin carbs. He's wearing like a trench coat, um, like a brown taupe trench coat. It's really cute. Um, here are the rest of his fighter escape photo cards. And then here are Thursday's Child which I really like these as well. And then my tiny little pop section. So we have his Weaver's card from Freeze. This is from Target for Thursday's Child. And then here is Thursday's Child Weaver's. Weaver, not, what is this? UMS or UMJ for Thursday's Child. And then once again, like I said, this is from Good Boy Gone Bad. And if anyone has that heart hollow card from Weaver's Japan, hit me up um because I really want it and then I have his membership cards and some deco kit cards I just kept the rest of them back here so those are really cute anything that's like Subin related and then my sister also gifted me this Moa campus card which was so nice of her so yeah I really like how this is looking and like even though I cut these sleeves myself I actually think they look pretty clean like they don't look too DIY I guess and not to like nothing's wrong with that I just I'm really particular as a person, so if things look a little messy, I'm not really a huge fan of it, but I actually think this looks pretty clean. And then, like I said, once I reprint out this paper and just three-hole punch it, well, six-hole punch it, 
again it should look pretty good so we're just gonna zip her up and yeah i'm obsessed that i now have a purpose in my collection for this binder because also even though i'm not obsessed with the jelly binders i have one for my jiyun collection and something i hate with photo cards is um and photo card binders is that like dust debris little crumbs and things get into your binders and it doesn't matter if you never eat around them or like you don't even touch anything around them it's just like debris and dust gets into them and so you kind of have to like constantly be like cleaning it off or whatever where when with these jelly binders since they're zipper closed I feel like there's less of that like they just stay a bit more clean um at least that's what I've noticed with my Yoon binder it may not be for everyone but I've noticed that personally and I was like even though I don't love that it's like flexible and jelly all the time I do think it's really cute and then if you are a person who just hates dust and debris in your binder the zipper really does help I, I feel like it is effective or maybe it's just me crazy but I really do feel like it helps so yeah this is my little Subin collection and hopefully for like their next comeback and I'll be up to date and ready to collect more Subin cards I love Subin so I'm so happy that I got to collect most of his other cards and I'm really close to being done so like done to my definition of done you know because I create my own collection rules so thank you everyone for watching today I've really had nothing to post re recently because all of my packages have been in limbo slash a lot of goes that I joined have taken a lot longer than I expected them which is totally fine I can be patient but I haven't had much like really to post um, and my next binder like refill with my photo cards I kind of just wanted to do it all at once um, with the new albums that I have coming which they're actually going to be here in like three days so you'll actually see a lot of videos from me probably soon <laughs> um, because of those things but yeah I've been trying to trade a lot I've just tried not to buy too much stuff that is unnecessary or be like really um, impulsive with my k-pop <laughs> purchasing um, and just focus on taking whatever I have and trying to use it to get the things that I'd like in my collection. So if you're looking for any Kepler, Hunin Baihe pops or any Kepler related stuff, Stacy, I have a couple random like boy group cards. I think some 17, maybe one Hunin Kai pop, like stuff like that. If you're interested in any of those things and you have something off my many wish lists, um, don't be afraid to contact me and ask me if you want to trade. Um, but yeah, this is just a small update because I wanted to show you guys because I thought it was so cute. Like, I've been really obsessed with how it's looked. I've literally been just opening it and, like, playing around with it, looking at it, and, like, flipping through it, like, a hundred times. So, yeah. Thank you so much, and thanks for watching this channel. Um, please subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos. Like I said, I'll be updating, doing a binder update, which will have a lot of TXT photo cards because I've had so much stuff. You know how just, just like, random stuff comes in a lot? Um, and then I'll have, like, a new collection starting soon. I have some downsizing, like, just updates with my collection. So I'll let you guys know in the next few videos. And like I said, you should be getting updates this week, like, maybe two, three videos this or next week. Um, so just keep an eye out for those. Thank you for your patience if you've been waiting for content, but I just don't really have that much to do. And then I also have school and stuff, so I haven't really had a lot of time to focus on this. I do want to do a shelf video, but also once again, I was kind of waiting to do a shelf video because I have more albums coming. So I was going to wait until I got those and then like kind of secure how I want things to look and then make the video. So you might see a shelf video in like, I don't know, a few weeks maybe? Like this week, next week, maybe three weeks if I'm trying to push the update so I don't do, so I don't publish like all my videos at once because that's the same thing. Sometimes I think I should work on like a few things at a time and maybe just put them out at a slower rate because a lot of the times when I have content, it just like kind of all comes at once. Like I get a package and then I get a lot of photo cards and then I have a lot of content to make. But then when I don't have like packages and things on the way, there's not really much to update because I'm not really doing that much. There's like, you know, a few photo cards like once a week, I get maybe a new photo card or something, but that's not really video worthy, <laughs> I guess. 
Um, I did kind of want to make a full binder materials, um, sleeves, um, just all that kind of information video, but it's gonna be really long, I think, if I did that, so I don't know. You guys can let me know. Would you be interested in a very long video explaining all of the sleeves I use, all of the binder pages I use, all of the binders I use, and just, like, materials? So it could also be, like, trading materials, too. Like, I might just make it all a giant video, and maybe I'll try to, like, divide it into stamps so you guys can see, like, you don't have to watch the full video if you don't want to. But I sometimes, I get those questions a lot, like, which sleeves do you, like, not a bunch. No one, no one's, like, crazy knocking on my door, but it's pretty common for me to get the question of, like, which sleeves I use, which binder pages, what are my binders, where do I buy them, stuff like that. And so I was going to make a full video and just link, like, every single thing down below so you guys can find it easily because I know, like, when I first got into collecting, like, it was really difficult to figure out what people were using where people bought stuff, like, which things were good, which ones worked with different binders and stuff, like, as far as sleeves to pages to whatever you want, and I can just tell you what I use personally. Um, yeah, so that was gonna be my total updates, but thank you for watching today. Have a nice day, everyone. I hope you're enjoying, um, just, I enjoyed the Halloween weekend, so I'm excited for the rest of this year. And things are going to get probably pretty busy, so hopefully I'll be able to post more. Um, and maybe make, like, a better schedule. It's just I run out of ideas, so I'm not sure. But sorry for chatting so much. If you don't really care, you can definitely leave the video. But, um, anyways, have a nice day. Bye. Thanks for watching, even though this was, like, it's not that much. But, bye.